Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy Plays Hades, the Big Bad Update. Uh, nah. Starting with the coin purse is always a good decision, my boy. Yeah, back in the game again. Feels like it has been a few days for me since I last played this game because work has kept me busy and yesterday a new smite god was being revealed and I was very happy about that. Um, I do like the quick spin. I think exploding launcher is going to be very, very fun as well. Just do it. Exploding launcher is actually very fun to use. And now it's actually worthwhile because the damage now actually turns the base damage all the way up. And I like it. I love it. So yeah, as I'm recording this, it's Thursday morning. I don't have to work today because it's a national holiday today. Uh, day of German unity, Tag der Deutschen Einheit, which is what we would call it in, you know, German. And um, I'm very glad for that. You know, if you start working, start to go to college or do any of these things, you really start to... How should I put it? You really find a new appreciation for these three days. Let's go and see what Athena has in store for us. Cruel legions, cousin. Their lives are long since forfeit, and they cannot stand against one of your birthright, nor against my power. Let's see. Um, let's take the dash in here. So the last time I played this game was before the teaser for the upcoming patch was being revealed. So I think that means Monday or Tuesday, I suppose. Yeah, work has been keeping me really busy, and also some other things. Uh, let's go for Chaos here, why not? I was actually playing Smite, as I said before. I was actually trying to get some good recordings for Noita, and all of them terrible for some reason. Noita actually being a pretty, pretty hard game, which still keeps surprising me every now and then. Uh, dash attacks are absolutely bad. I don't think I'm going to use a cast on, but there is a chance I may attack will come in useful, so let's go with that, hope for the best. And um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, there have been things keeping me busy. But as I am recording this on Thursday, I think this video will not go online before Sunday. If I have my backlog correctly memorized, Sunday is when it should go online. Which basically means that this is going to be the second to last game I'm going to play before the next big update hits. I gotta say, I thought it would feel like it would last forever. But the time with the big update actually flew right past me. It was, I think, eight weeks more or less. The time went by super fast. And I think that just serves as an indicator for how much of a good time I had with this update. And I really had a good time. And I think I actually did some of my best Hades videos within this update. We got 220 heat runs in, among other things. Why, thank you, my boy. Let's see what you have. Um, do I want to go for slicing shots again? Uh, I don't think I will. Let's take the slicing shot anyway. Damn. I shouldn't, but I will. Um, yeah, at the moment of this video coming up, I actually uploaded both of the... Oh, that's good. Both of the dash attack runs, I had two more pure random runs or something along those lines. Yeah, we had a pretty, pretty good time. Made a lot of ridiculous synergies works. And we also got a lot of subscribers. I think as of this moment recording this video, we actually went past the 150 subscriber counter mark. I am very, very happy about that and... We actually did it a bit faster than I thought we would. So guys, let me use this opportunity to say thank you again. Thank you for making all of this possible. Thank you for supporting me. In the past, present and future. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing many, many more milestones with you. Um, I think I said it in an earlier video. I think I did. I wanted to look for one of the bigger milestones. Maybe 250, 500, or even the big quadra digits, the big thousand. I want to actually consider doing face cam on my videos at some point, and I feel like reaching one of these huge milestones would be a good point to start with that. So if you ever make it to... I don't know when I will do it. I think I will see how everything is going and make that up as I go. But yeah, I probably think 500 or 1000, that's going to be the threshold at which I will consider adding face cap to my videos. Let's go. Palm into the power boon. Yeah, let's go. Would actually like to get a good special in here. Hopefully that will be in the cards pretty soon. Um, oh, what? Hang on, I haven't gotten a sick... Okay, so it's not dependent on the damage you take. Because evidently I haven't taken any damage. As is clear to see. Yeah, I don't think I have gotten a single hit in, in the entire game thus far. Thanatos, you goof. I don't need your help. Just leave me alone. Oh yeah, Thanatos was actually also in Transistor. I think that video has gone up at this point as well. What a ridiculous man. Not the voice actor, just Thanatos. See, Thanatos, your help got me hit. That is what you did for me. Thank you, thank you, far too kind. You still alive. You're reckless, but you're yeah, 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 be gone. Shut up. Centaur Heart, that's a reroll. More money, sure. Oh, it's free. That's actually nice. Can't use the fountain, though, but still nice. And here we go for the shop, of course. Um, Anything else I want to talk about? There probably was, but uh, maybe I should take notes about these things in the future. There probably was something else I really wanted to talk about. I just can't for the life of mine remember it. Damn. Ready for me, oh, I'm always ready for you, my girl. Except for heated run attempts. On those, I just would prefer to not have you around. In that case, I will always take precedence over fighting one of your lovely sisters. So one thing I don't always talk about is how I actually do have some other YouTubers playing the game. That I watch every now and then. And one of them is Jonas Paulis, another rather small YouTuber. He has, let me think, just shy of 300 subscribers, I think. You guys may know him from the... Reddit because he was actually posting a very very good video there basically a nice beginner's guide explaining how to play the game explaining how some boons work among other things it's a very good video if you haven't seen it check it out and um, yeah I think he actually just started doing heated run attempts and I was actually looking forward to him doing that because what can I say? I just wanted to see how he's going to do it. And especially how he's going to like them. That was the big part about it. I think he just started doing a 60 heat run. Because he just noticed that there are actually rewards for those. And... change of scenery. Yeah, I don't think you need me to tell you at this point. How much of a humiliating experience high heated runs can be. And... You know, we humans are strange creatures. We base how much we like and how much we value other people very highly on how much they tend to agree with us. A lot of people do that. Not a lot of people admit to that, but a lot of people are actually doing that, and I fully agree to that. So... With that being said, I don't think you need me to tell you how happy I was to see that he was enjoying these runs particularly himself. 
Maybe that will change in the future. Maybe we'll actually grow into the groove, find his rhythm, and actually have a good time with those. But judging from my own experience, it's probably not going to happen. The game is at a perfect, almost perfect difficulty. Where it is right now at this moment. Like... I would say that it's at a place where a... Oh my god, I actually want Dionysus now over Ares on my special now that I think about it. Damn. Um, I would say that it's at a place where... If you are a good player, a player who has played this game for a decently long time... You can beat the base game relatively, comfortably, consistently. Like, I... It's... I'll let you be the judge of whether I'm a good player or not. But I think I qualify as an experienced player in here. I've been playing this game a lot. Uh, except for this week, almost every day since I got it in May. May or April. And I think it shows. I know a lot of things about this game that others don't. I have committed this game to muscle memory, basically. And have a great time with that. And I think I can also say that most of my runs at this point in the base game are actually wins. How goes it this time, man? Everything fine? All fine. Let's see then. Um, Dionysus A is not what I wanted actually, but I'm taking it anyway. Time to feast. Uh, there's a shop, good. Could have gone with a premium vintage there, but I didn't want to. Don't yeah, think I'm going to need that right now in this run. Just what I need. There is the second win, that's actually very good. Faster special, also interesting, but there is just something special about that second wind. With a good warp effect, you can get a lot of millage out of that. But yeah, while an experienced player who has been playing this game for way too much is having a good time, other players who just start the game are into their 5th run, their 8th run, their 10th run, sometimes even their 20th or their 15th run. They still think that the game is too hard. And I think that that is a pretty, pretty good difficulty to be at. Because especially with a role like this, you don't want to be at a place where you can just beat it easily. This game is supposed to have a lot of replayability and at least to my at least in my definition, at least in my role view, a lot of sad replayability comes from the fact that the early steps are somewhat hard. You're just getting your Celex under you, starting to understand the mechanics of the game. Understand what you can and can't do, what your enemies can do, and all these things. Hello, Ares, by the way. Oh, that's a rough decision. Finally, a special or the engulfing vortex. I would like both. Ah, uh, that's rough. That's rough. That's rough. Um, let's take the special here. Let's play it safe. Also, I also had a blade rift run this week. I know that for a fact. I remember that vividly. Not a vicious cycle blade rift run, but a blade rift hunting blades run. Oh my god. Did not see you do a fastball attack there. You son of a gun. So yeah, and I actually should start getting some kind of rhythm in here. Using and interweaving my special for damage together with my regular attack, with my charge attack. Oh yeah, that's good. I have been getting a lot of Eye of the Lamias, and in my book that is actually a good way to increase the overall chance of victory in the game. More money is also pretty nice. Let's get us fully charged up in here. Yeah, boy. There we go. Good start. Yeah, thanks for that. Get that. Oh, no! Chaos, no! No, Chaos, why? Darkness. Why? <laughs> oh my god, now I'm taking a Chaos Curse into the next boss fight with me. That is something I really, really did not want to do. Oh, brother. What am I going to do? Um, sure, it's sex for our cast. Yeah, how circumspect of me. 
Circumspect yourself. Oh, I didn't even see the portal being there. Damn. Okay, that's actually pretty okay, though. Oh, but man, now I'm actually annoyed by this. Now I'm actually super, super annoyed by this. Damn. I lost 200 coins because of that. 200 of bulls. I mean, not 200, but slightly less than that. Keys wasted. Time wasted fighting a fight I did not need to find. Oh, Chaos, you troll. Chaos, you're trolling me. You goof. And yeah, now I actually have Inferno Bombs in this fight with me. Here's a good case to be made about how I maybe shouldn't have taken that with me. But I did. Oh man, this is actually the worst. That is actually the worst. By the way, I was a diva if I was taken there anyway. I actually forgot already. I'm getting stronger cast damage for? What for? What was it? I think it was... Oh yeah, the Inferno Bombs, of course. The Inferno Bombs popping up for every kill I do. You can really tell that it's still morning over here in Germany because my voice is actually cracking every now and then. I was actually trying to make morning recordings a bit more of a habit because... I'm usually quite the early bird. I get up early, even on free days. But now, because winter is coming, the days actually become a lot shorter. Like, today when I woke up, I thought it was super early. Check the clock was actually 7 a.m. in the morning. It was super dark. That's what autumn and winter do for you, I suppose. Oh, good Dionysus damage. That's my boy. Lots of extra enemies down here. So yeah, 7 o'clock. I mean, on a free day like today, that's absolutely fine. But if I'm working and not having a late shift, I won't be able to get any recordings in like that. Which is why I limited most of my recordings to either the weekends or after work. After work recordings, gotta say, they're also kind of awkward because... I usually start recording after I have eaten, and then... You do the recordings on a full stomach. You feel kind of sleepy, you feel kind of full. Kind of drops energy levels a bit, yeah. you know? Depending on what you eat, of course. So yeah, that's actually also something that I have to reconsider how I approach that topic in the future. Um, Yeah, I don't care about these. Do not care about those. Do I want to go with Artemis in here? Actually, I've already filled out all the active spots, so I won't be even able to get Hunting Blades. Let's go with Athena, because we might be able to get another Merciful run in here. I know I had one of those this week as well, but, you know, why not just do it again? Do it again! I remember having heard that meme before in some meme-heavy edited videos, among other things. I, to this day, have no idea where that do it again thing is coming from. I mean, it has to have some kind of origin, right? Some kind of game, some kind of anime or manga or other story where that originated from. Oh man, the Athena there is so good. Um... Yeah, it's Thursday again. Yeah, today on the day I'm recording this, the Athena Dash run is actually going online. I am super excited if you guys are going to like me clearing the entire game with just a dash attack. If you do like to see that sort of thing, I know it's not this video, it has been the last video, but if you do like that sort of thing, let me tell you, uh, tell me about that because I do like to make content you guys enjoy to watch, and I also enjoy making content I enjoy playing. And these dash runs, man, let me tell you, they are actually super, super fun to make. The Athena one, it felt very safe, and I was actually feeling pretty confident that I would win it. But the Dionysus dash attack run, man, that... I have no idea why, but 
awkwardly enough, that kind of run is where my heart is. I want to make a dash only, Dionysus dash attack only run. I want to make that work. If I ever stop playing this game in God knows when. When something else is taking a huge chunk of my channel or, I don't know, the game has just reached its age. I want people to look back and be like, Daddy the Grand, that crazy son of a gun. Back when he cleared the game with the Dionysus dash attack. I know I haven't done that yet, but I will one day, even if it kills me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to revisit some of these dash only runs in the next update. And yeah, I am looking forward to that. Hopefully there will be some kind of boons that actually will aid me. I mean, the run I had... I only lost it because of bad RNG, right? You have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It was very, very the worst RNG. By the way, I don't even need to really bother with my special, right? I can just use Merciful End. Just kill them all. Just kill them all. By getting some good dash damage into these fools. Swan down. And yeah, it really actually shows now how terrifying the Inferno Bombs are. There you go. Elysium. I am in Elysium, my boy. Um, let's actually take the passing through it here. The haste of Hermes. The haste of Hermes, indeed. I have a little bit of money. Nothing I really want to sell off. I would like to sell off Chaos Boons, but I think there's actually a good reason for that not being able. For that not being doable. Ares, sure. Um, basically, nobody except for... Let, us battle now before you face the champion Let me think really quick. Nobody except for Zagreus. And I think Nox. Uh, Nyx. She's called Nyx in this game, not since my... That's where she's called Nox. Um, but yeah, I think nobody but Nyx and Zag actually knows that Chaos is involved and helping. So if Zag is actually going and selling off Chaos's boons to Sharon, everybody would know basically. That's probably a good law based explanation why you are not able to sell those off. Goodbye. Which is a shame because most of them are just very, very bad. You basically take them on account of the curse is not killing you before. Oh my god, another warmth effect. Uh, another duo boon. Let's go, let's take it. That's actually three duo boons already. Damn. Um, so yeah, that actually. Leaves the interesting question of what the price point would be there. Chaos Boons would be more valuable than regular God Boons. Because, you know, Primordial Gods... I think, or you would think, that they do range over regular Jokers, regular Olympians. At least they do in my head, kind of, I don't know. Maybe. And, um... Oh, hi, you actually came back, damn. Given how Chaos Boons are actually harder to acquire than regular Olympian Boons. It only makes sense that you should be able to charge a bit more for those, right? I think that being able to sell off Chaos Boons would actually be a pretty decent buff to them. Maybe they should make that able. Screw the lore. Like the one I got earlier in here, the one that... I will buy that after I fought here. Um, the one that makes my regular attack stronger. What was my cast? My attack on my cast, I think I have maybe both even, do I? Something along those lines. Um, anyway. Oh, hi. No, you're not respawning, my boy. Those are... Pretty, pretty weak in comparison. You don't get a lot of usage out of them. Worthless wretches. Or extra giant is it for whatever reason you take that run. 
Um, being able to sell those off for a good amount of money actually would be nice. A nice payoff for the HP you invested for the... Everything else you did, basically. Yeah. No soul catching for you. No soul catching for you guys. No weapon grasping. Weapon grasping prohibited. And this should do the trick. This run is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's really good, but it's interesting. There we go. Uh, impending Doom is going to be very good for this one. Let's go. That one is really, really going to be strong. And we might be able to get a second life in here. A fourth second life. Let's go like that. Oh, it's only you again, stranger. It's only me as well. Don't make such like talk of you. We do like you. Certainly, stranger. Someone, after I posted a screenshot on the Reddit the other day, uh, someone was actually asking me where you get the Patroclus keepsake. And I said that, oh my god, the fourth through in here. My god, can we make the Panther today? Hang on, let me check the list really quick. We have four duo boons right now. Um, no, I don't think we can. I don't think we have another duo boon on us. Damn. I wasn't even purposely going for that, but now I'm actually kind of bummed out. Don't see that happening. Ares with Athena, Ares with... Aphrodite? Hang on, do I have Ares with Aphrodite? Yes, I do. Damn. Dionysus has nothing with Ares and Athena. Aphrodite we already have. Damn. Took care of those for me, mate. Oh, well, another Penta is actually... Uh, Quad was actually nice. If you say so, boy. Let's go, make short work of those jokers. You are going to suffer, my boy. Suffering is what you will. Oh, good damage. There you go. Both at the 50% mark and or below. Yeah, attend the boy. Show him your attention. I do have a few rerolls. I could try to fish for something, but I don't even know what that would be. Super easy, barely no convenience, my boy. I agree, that will do. Oh man, merciful end. I really need to get that boon a bit more regularly. Um. Oh yeah, that's not like of the alarm here. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't seen Zeus. Oh man, if I would have gotten the revenge card out of Ares, it was offered to me once. If I would have gotten that, I would have probably went with that. But sadly, it's not an option in here for the moment. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Three boons. True. Three duo boons. We actually got off Aphrodite in here, I think. Let's take the Artemis keepsake. Hope for the best. Make it the Penta before the next big update hits. If I can actually pull that off, I think I achieved almost everything I set myself up to do in this update. And it would please me a great deal. There is Athena. There is Artemis. Let's actually start with her. Maybe she's going to offer to replace a boon. And, um, actually, poison in here. So, first of all, what you learned here is don't multitask. Because I was actually so stuck in my ways of thinking on how I could get what in here. Based on what boons I am going to be offered. And, um, I think the most likely way of actually getting something good in here would be obviously getting a special or an attack. Of course, that would then in turn disable some of the duo boons I do have. He actually hit me with that. Which 
would be questionable use, to say the least. He is dead. And he is going to follow suit. Like, say I replace my attack, right? Say I do the dirty deed of replacing my attack with something else. That will mean that I have no more weak effect, which means that at least two of my other dual boons will be disabled. Is that going to be worth it? Maybe. Just for the sake of getting a dual boon? Maybe. Uh, probably. Um, okay, she's actually offering me pressure points. I don't know if that actually serves as a prerequisite, but it's going to be... I think it does. I hope it does. I actually do hope it does serve as a prerequisite for Athena, who has been offered to me in the shop. Let's go find out. Let us go find out. If I do get the Athena Artemis Duobun in here. Not in the cards. That's still pretty good, though. I have more rerolls open, so I will definitely try one. Um, that is also a potential doable. Let's go. If pressure points counts, which I hope it does. Aphrodite, the girl may be able to give me more... Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> that is actually something alright. Yeah, I'm not going to sell off any of those. Um, if pressure points counts, Aphrodite may be able to give me her doom of Artemis, which increases critical damage. If we can get that, if we can make that happen, that would be a dream fulfilled. That would fit into the run quite nice because I do have the dash attack with the deflect, so milking damage out of that would be an absolute blast. It would be no problem, no problem whatsoever. Oh yeah, by the way, there is actually one thing I never managed to achieve in the Big Bad update. And that is actually finding a one hallway clear for Hades. The fastest I got at any point playing this game has been two rooms. And it's more or less mostly three to five rooms, actually. Let's see. Give me a Dubu. I'm trying my best, damn, sadly. Very, very sadly. Um, let's take the sweet surrender here. But I still have a few more rewards. Maybe there's something else in the cards here. Let us see. But yeah, I think predator points maybe just not count. Uh, another one. Aphrodite again, sure. Oh boy. Because I wanted to see Artemis so, so bad, I actually went and did not... Uh, I want to keep all of those, I think. Yes. Um, because I wanted to see Artemis so bad, I forgot what I wanted to say. I'll be damned. Oh my god. Oh yeah, because I wanted to see Artemis, I did not take the Patroclus keepsake, the... Broken spear points, so the poison is now actually dangerous in here for me. So I have to be mindful about that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Full clears to be had. If I would have taken the special of Artemis and replaced the... Doom attack of Ares. There would have probably been a higher chance to get a Doom because I really could not be sure that the what's it called pressure points that that will actually unlock the Doom option for me there. I actually that's actually one of the prerequisites that I just can't remember for the life of mine. I'm actually going to look that up after I have finished this run. I'm actually getting sweet sweet damage being dealt to me here. 
But yeah, having the Myrmidon Bracer or the Patchwork of Keepsake is actually very helpful. I hadn't even considered that. I haven't even considered that one. I'm not sure I'm going to take it, but don't think that's going to be all that impactful. Actually, actually. Okay, 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 okay. I have an I have another idea to make this run positively ridiculous. To find um, but I actually have to go for. First of all, let's try reroll here. Sure, whatever. Let's go for Ares first then. Um, there may be another way to make this run actually ridiculous. And I will explore that with you guys in a moment. Oh, this might be unexpectedly good. By the way, even though Merciful End is our strongest damaging option right now, I think this is pretty much Aphrodite's run. We got three Doo Boons off here. Actually, more or less making use out of all of those. And now we also have a Legendary. Yeah, this is an Aphrodite run. Absolutely, big time. And all of that without ever touching a keepsake. Let that sink in. Oh, brother. So the idea that I have is that I am going to use the money I have on my hands right now to buy the hammer. And if that, by the way, that was a huge crit. If all works out the way I intended to, I will be able to get the fast regular attack and will be able to keep Hades in a semi-permanent state of ongoing charm. I don't think it will be as potent as what I wanted to do with the bow, but it still should be pretty, pretty nice, right? Let's see. X tanning jab, quick spin, that's not what I want, but you know what? Quick spin is also decent. Let's go with that. I wanted the flurry jab, but I sadly did not get it. Oh yeah, which makes sense, because I already got the massive spin. That absolutely makes sense. By the way, full clear again. Because there is no run without a full clear. Or close to full clear. Can you drink this? Thank you. Let's see if we can make it to the fountain without losing a life. Barter some barter. Crushed. Still alive, huh? There. Nothing in here I really want to sell off, though. Could actually sell off the engulfing vortex. Wouldn't lose all that much. Because of it. Oh no. No 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 no. That's better. I actually got some sweet deflecting in there as well. Okay, so much for me not making it without losing a life, but that's okay. Oh man, the Panther Dream. The Penta Duo Bean. The Duo Penta Dream. However you want to call it. So close yet so far away. Okay, 300 coins is what we have on hand. 333. Three is my lucky number, so I'm actually considering not buying anything just because of that. Um, but I will buy the big palm in here. Stronger special, probably yes. Or no, actually a stronger wrath effect is what I want in here. Because I want to actually use my charge attack somewhat fiercely in this fight. Good boy. Great guy. That you do. That you do. So I'm going to use a mix of my dash, attack and special. Getting a lot of debuffs on him and getting a lot of damage in the process. That's a very nice night. A full moon again. Like it has been for the last few weeks. Pressing business to attend to, but I cannot let you leave. That's okay. Nobody cares. We are going to see how this is going to look in just a few days, my boy. Oh, uh. I don't know if it's really necessary for him to start every fight like this. There he is, charmed. 
can I keep your charm like this? Keep attacking? Oh my god. This is actually working out right now. Oh my god, I actually got him all the way down. This way. Okay, let's just keep poking, keep poking, keep poking. Forget those, forget those. Oh no, he's actually using that again. If I would have the extended jab, man, this would have been absolutely insane. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him! He is getting the attack up. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, now imagine this with the bow special. Imagine this with the bow special. Using a lot of small arrows. Or the extended jab. Damn. Yeah, stay like this. Stay like this, stay like this, stay like this. Damn. Come on, come on. Okay, next phase. Oh. He's charmed. Now I only need to charm Hades. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, He is having a hard time getting that attack off there. I have a 50% chance every time I use my attack to keep him in that lock. Damn. Got one life out of me, but that's okay. He's still not dead. There you are. Get up, my boy. Come on, come on, come on. Get jump, get jump, get jump. There he is. Jump, 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 jump. He is summoning more vases. He is summoning all the vases right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost a life there too. Oh my god, it's super buggy. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Just look at this. Look at this. I destroyed his AI right now. Okay. No, 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 no. Stay like that, stay like that, stay like that, stay like that, stay like that. Stay like that, stay like that. Wrath effect, wrath effect, wrath effect, lots of cards. I deflected one of them. I need to get rid of these. Okay, I'm safe here, I think. Safe, good. Let's keep him charmed. Cheap charm him up, charm him up! There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, this is great! Oh my god, I lost a life. Okay. Enough fooling around. I actually just have to win right now. There's a lot of shockwaves. There's one more. I actually dodged that one. God bless. Come on, charm up again. Oh, okay, we got it. Ooh. Ooh. We turned him into a giggling idiot. <laughs> oh man, imagine this run with the ex um, flurry jab or the bow special, man. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, four duo boons made good use out of all of them and the Aphrodite legendary. This was Aphrodite's run, I think. That was Afro. That was Afro. That was... Yeah, three out of Aphrodite. This one was Ares and... Athena. Amazing run, guys. Amazing run. I had a good time. Um, yeah, tomorrow will be the last run in the Big Bad update. I'm looking forward to saying goodbye to that. And after that, it should be Tuesday. And by then, we will be in a new update. I think I will be, depending on what will be in the game, doing double Hades uploads for a few days. Maybe for a week. We shall see how much new stuff will be in the game. So I'm looking forward to... Having that experience with a lot of you. Looking forward to that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your loyalty and support in the last few weeks. In the last few months. Couldn't have done anything of this without you. And I'm looking forward to see what we'll achieve in the future. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have the greatest of days.